Abe Safa here with Real Estate Sales Solutions. Today I want to go over the importance of uh, tracking your numbers in, in the uh, business of real estate, why it's important to track your numbers. Um, so without tracking your numbers, it's very difficult to gauge where you are as far as um, skill level in, in the uh, industry. right? So if you look at any business out there, um, they have metrics that they look at, whether it's their sales, whether it's their expenses. Um, whether the cost of goods, how much inventory they have. So every business out there um, has metrics that they look at to be able to gauge where they are and then uh, especially relative to where they want to be and then what, what, um, and pinpoint what changes need to be done to, to make sure that they're on track to hit the goals that they want. For some reason, when it comes to real estate, um, agents don't think that way. You know, they, they think uh, uh, they're an employee, so they come in and they just uh, they make their phone calls. They go on appointments, they get busy, they end up working all day long, and then realize uh, that they're just uh, spinning their wheels and just working long, long hours. So when you start tracking your numbers, that's the beginning of you actually treating uh, your real estate um, as a business, you're not just an employee anymore. So by tracking your numbers, you have the ability to pinpoint exactly what areas need to be improved on to be able to hit the metrics that you want. So what I wanna do is share with you um, a, a numbers tracker that, that I use that I hopefully will be helpful to you and I'll explain in detail exactly uh, how to use it. So here's the actual number tracker. Um, so it looks pretty complex but it's actually pretty basic. Um, so what, what you need to start tracking um, is, is just four numbers. Okay, Number one is the number of contacts that you make. Okay, This is every person that you talk to, every real estate conversation you have that day is a contact so you put that in there um, at the end of the day this is just a total sheet right so you want to you want to track your numbers somewhere else anything it could be a post-it note it could be whatever and you have four lines and just put a dash for every single one and at the end of the day you transfer your numbers to here and this is the overall um, uh, analyzer for you so you're tracking your number of contacts you're tracking the number of emails that you take uh, so every person that you talk to you should be asking for their email address Okay, if they're not ready to sell or buy right now, you should be getting their email address and getting them into a database. You should be building a database. So you should get, if you ask every person you talk to, you should be getting a minimum of 25% on average. Um, the third thing you want to do is, is how many appointments you set for the day. How many listing appointments did you set? And then the last thing would be any listings taken for that day. So it's only those four numbers and you're tracking them on a daily basis. This here is the total summary of your whole year, but I'm gonna show you where you actually enter your numbers because you don't enter them here. Okay, but before I go there, I wanna show you something at the bottom of this uh, spreadsheet so when you when you download it and start using it, you know what to do. I want you to plug in two numbers here. Number one, I want you to plug in what your average commission is. Okay, so take your average sale um, times whatever uh, percentage you charge minus any expenses, any costs that you have to your broker, any splits or whatever, and just plug in a number. It could be 4,000, it could be 10,000, it could be 20,000, depending on where you are in the country, what market. Um, after you plug that number is, this is the average commission per check. You're gonna plug in what the average percentage of, of listings you take are actually closing. So right now the market's really hot, so probably 95% of all listings are taken are actually selling, it could be higher. Um, it could be lower, uh, but that's probably about what it is right now. In a normal market, it could be 70, 80%. It really depends on what your market is. Um, and just if, if you're not sure, just do a ballpark figure. Look at how many listings you took last year and how many of them closed and just plug in that number. So you need to plug in these two numbers. I'm going to show you why here in a minute. Okay. Then once you do that, there's nothing else to do on this main page. So down here across the bottom, you'll see each month of the year. So let's start off. Let's just say right now it's January. All you have to do is at the end of the day, when you're done prospecting, you take your numbers that you, you tracked on, the, uh, on that post-it note or whatever sheet of paper you have, and then you come in and just plug the numbers in. So this is uh, day number one, so this is January 1st, right here, right? So let's just say you made 25 contacts. Let's say you got five email addresses. Let's say you set two appointments and you didn't get any listings, right? So you leave that blank. Let's just say day number two, you did 30 contacts. You got six emails. Let's just say you set one appointment and let's just say you took a listing. You know, it doesn't matter when the appointment was, let's give you an appointment from the previous time. This is just the number of listings that you took. Okay, and then you just enter that. And you just keep going um, through the end of the month and then all the way down, 
you'll see there's 31 slots in every single month. So just put it, plug in all your numbers. Now here's what the formulas are, do, are doing up here. So for the 5th of January, okay, up here, it shows you you've made 55 contacts, you've taken 11 emails, you've set three appointments, you took one listing. So it's a tally of everything here. Now here's your ratios that you need to pay attention to. Number one, this is the number of days that you worked. So every day that you plug in a number in here, it's gonna count as a day worked, okay? This is how many contacts you're making per day. This is how many appointments you're setting per day. And this is how many listings you're taking per day. So you're taking half a listing per day just based on these two numbers. And you're taking one and a half appointments per day. Now here, you've got your ratios that you're looking at. So contact to email. Okay, for every five contacts you make, you're getting one email address. For every uh, contact to appointment, for every 18.33 contacts you make, you're setting one appointment. For every appointment, um, for every three appointments, you're getting one listing. And every 55 contacts, you get one listing. So, I mean, these are all numbers to know. Now, this is only two days. It's no big deal, right? It's not going to give you a true, a, a true um, idea of what your, what your skill level is. Um, but when you do this over a month, over three months, over six months, now you're really starting to get a good idea where your skill level is, and then you know what areas to improve. Um, and I'm going to give you access to this uh, spreadsheet um, at the end of, at the end of the uh, video. I'll show you where you can get a copy of the spreadsheet and you can use it. So now you've got your number in, and you can do this every single day for every single month that you've worked. Do not plug in any zeros. So let's just say this was a Friday, and then the, the, the third was a Saturday, fourth was a Sunday, and you didn't work, and you come back to work Monday, you just plug in Monday's numbers. Okay, just leave the blanks. You don't put anything else in there and you'll see all the numbers are changing up here, okay? And you do this every single day for every single month of the year, and then you go to total, that's where it gives you a summary, and this is where it's cool. You see how like it's broken down by month. You can kind of see, once you get a few months in here, you can start seeing if, if your contact to email ratio is getting better. This way, if you're working on certain areas of your business, if you're working on your listing presentation, you should see that your appointment to listing um, ratio is getting better and better every single month and this shows you how many days of the, uh, of the month that you worked um, up top the same thing number of days worked is up here um, and this is the total summary for the whole year contacts by day you're making 30 contacts a day you're setting 1.3 appointments per day and you're taking uh, seven tenths of a listing every single day and here's what's cool as well um, Based on the listings that you've taken and based on the closing percentage that you put on the bottom of the page, okay, and your average commission check, this will show you that you make $2,533 per day that you worked. The number below that shows you you make $72 for every single contact that you make, right? So when you look at these numbers, it's going to be a little bit extra motivating for you to be like, man, let me just make one more phone call. It's $72 for every phone call that I make. Now, yes, these numbers may be a little bit uh, hyped up a little bit, right? Because I only put three days of data, you know, but there are agents that, that, you know, take a listing almost every single day. So that's what you need to get your skill level to and get to that point. And this will help you because you'll know what area to focus on. Okay. If you're not getting enough emails per contact, you know, to improve that script on getting the emails. If you're not setting enough appointments, you need to know to dig deeper into the conversation to set more appointments, be a little bit more aggressive setting the appointment. And if you're not getting enough uh, listings to appointments, you know it's your listing presentation at that point. Okay, so this is the spreadsheet. Very easy to use. All you do is plug in the numbers on a daily basis and it gives you a tally up here. So now what I want you to do, if you want a copy of this um, spreadsheet, um, it's an Excel file and I can email it to you. Uh, text me at 843-632-5864. That's 843-632-5864. Just text me that number, let me know you want the numbers analyzer, uh, and then uh, put your email in that text as well, and then we'll shoot that over to you. Um, hopefully this helps you out. I promise you, if you start tracking your numbers this way and looking at it like it's really a business and you're not just an employee, you're gonna see that you're gonna be able to improve your business so much more.